Well, when patients present with abdominal pain, either from their primary care or as direct referral, uh, we ascertain where the location of the pain is and then their symptoms, okay? So uh, when did the pain occur? How long has the pain been present? Has it been associated with diarrhea or and or bleeding, right? Which will lead us to one diagnosis or another. Most commonly, we think of what we call diverticular disease, where the patients may have had what we call left lower quadrant pain, pain on their left side, and they may have, they've been in a hospital for a few days with that diagnosis, or they've been treated as an outpatient with antibiotics. But diverticular disease, which is what we, uh, what we would think of, if you think of a balloon, an old balloon, and you blow up a balloon, you have little weak pockets, those little weak pockets are diverticuli. And they perhaps can, what we call perforate or pop and cause you abdominal pain. And if you have enough, um, if you have several episodes of this disease, then we recommend surgery to remove that disease segment so they no longer have that type of abdominal pain. That surgery, again, it can be performed laparoscopically or the conventional method. One is naturally better than the other, except for laparoscopically may portend a faster recovery period. Uh, and the recovery is usually about a week to a week and a half. Diverticular disease is left untreated. Um, if they have severe episodes where they require hospitalization, um, people can get very sick.